here we're given the frequency and we're asked to calculate the wavelength. So let's use this equation where the speed of light is equal to wavelength times frequency. This time we'll divide through by frequency to isolate wavelength and we get wavelength wavelength is equal to the speed of light over frequency. Plug in the numbers given to you on your formula sheet. The speed of light is 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And frequency is given up here. Now, uh, mega is a million times, uh, so 99.9 megahertz is also the same thing as 99.5 times 10 to the 6 hertz. And let's just change, get, replace that hertz unit with 1 over a second so it cancels out with the unit in our problem. All right, uh, if we give you... If, you, if we give you prefixes of mega on your test, we'll give you uh, that conversion factor. Not something you have to memorize. All right, so frequencies go, goes on the denominator here. So 99.5 times 10 to the 6 per second. So we'll just reciprocate that up there because 1 over seconds. Or you can keep it down there and just cancel it out. Either way, it's going to cancel out with the seconds, and you're left with units of meters, which is the SI unit for length, and we're calculating wavelength. All right, let's get our calculators out. 2.998 times 10 to the 8 divided by 99.5 times 10 to the 6 you got 3.01. We need three significant figures because the original measurement was in three. 3.01 meters. Now, radio waves are much longer than um, uh, visible light waves, so that makes sense.